where I met Shannon over, shockingly, a glass of red wine in a bar. <laughs> um, well, actually, I met her before that, but that's where the talk of Kilimanjaro came up. And I have to admit, it was a bit selfish at that point. I was like, sure, I'm an adventure. I want to hike a mountain. Sounds great. Didn't really know a whole lot about why she was doing it or why it meant anything. And um, even as I came here, I thought to myself, like, am I doing this for selfish reasons? And in the last two days, I've shed more tears mm. over people I've known for 24 hours. And um, watching Kay Ray, my mom's name on that prayer flag today, <laughs> about killed me. <laughs> Because I've been blessed. Um, nobody close to me has had it, but my best friend's dad died a bit last year. Um, I have a very dear friend of the family that's dealing with it right now. And I kind of forgot about what they're going through until I saw Kelly and Kay. And I talked to Jules today about what her and Mike had gone through. And these are people that 48 hours ago I didn't even know. This is Robin Wilson coming from Mount Kilimanjaro at 14,500 feet. I want to show you this beautiful Epiphone guitar that all of us here on the mountain are playing and enjoying. If, uh, if you're donating $20 to Love, Hope and Strength during Kilimanjaro Rocks, you are eligible to win this beautiful Epiphone guitar. So please support Kilimanjaro Rocks and Love, Hope, Strength. Yes, that is the moon peeking over the top of the peak of Kilimanjaro, where we will be summiting. I've never seen anything like this. Diane Farrell, dear Julie, you always say you can't believe I left you and got married, and now I can't believe you left me and are doing all these wonderful journeys all over the world. It is so much fun to follow all of you each day, and I cannot wait until I can one day join you on such a fantastic trip. Have lots of fun and be safe. Hope you are sleeping good in those tents. Someone told me the other day that they slept like a baby. They woke up every two hours crying. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon and love bunches. Uh, um, that? Yeah. That was my brushing technique. Pretty solid. Away from the gums, away from the gums. No, I'd Very massive <laughs> peak. Screwed up me than with altitude sickness. 
I don't know what camp we're at because I'm so high up now. Everything is starting to not make sense. Uh, but we are on Kilimanjaro. I know that for a fact. Um, we're two days out from the summit. And we've got a couple of hours climb to 16,000 feet today. So to send the troops off at a spring in their step, Mr. McVernon here from good old Australia is going to lead us up to you. Okay, well done, Brian. Thank you. Climb along, people. Are you ready, Mike? Uh huh. Swim, Jim. Ready? All right, fellas. So we're just kept packing up from Camp Sheffield. Once again, all 25 are heading off, which we're very pleased. Um, a couple had a rough night, but looking good this morning. And through those clouds is where we are headed. It's going to be a cold morning, but only a two-hour hike. And uh, hunkering down for the day to reserve our energy tomorrow is going to be the biggest of biggest days. Wish us luck, everybody. Signing off for the morning. Oh, absolutely. You know, you love Up into the suit. <laughs> Basso, where are you off to? Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, we are going to our glacier camp. About 16,000 feet. Doesn't look like there's much up there. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's doing great. Mambo! Maria Subui! Missouri Capisa! We're climbing to our camp. You can see the path we've taken here all the way from out there, which is covered in clouds, getting a little snow, and then. We're going up that way. Our glacier. The pack's way less, but the altitude's really starting to bite. Just turned 15,000 feet now. This is when it starts to bite. Oh, I love them. Look at them. Alex and George, this is all being shot with a flip camera, by the way. Me and Shannon are double teaming responsibilities. Shannon's editing at night. My beautiful wife, Talma. My beautiful baby boy, Simon. I love you guys. I've been very busy. I've tried to call a few times, Talma, but no luck. Um, letting you know I'm safe. Feeling strong. We're at about 15,000 feet. It's starting to snow a little bit. And uh, thank you for letting me uh, be a part of this. It wouldn't be able to happen without you guys. And one day we'll come back as a family and see the, the children's hospital that Love, Hope, Strength will be, a, will be responsible for. And uh, I love you guys. I love you, Sai Sai. Hand these up.
Oh, here she comes. We hear ya. Just arrived at camp, 16,000 feet and change, fog has set in, and there's a little water shortage, so some of the porters have uh, gone down to 15,000 to find some water. Um, but other than that, everything's great. Just a few of the boys. Enjoy, everyone. Wish you were here.